The fourth strategy involves lifestyle modification. Often, the first step in managing bleeding, abnormal bleeding from fibroids is by making some lifestyle changes. But please note, these changes may not directly stop the bleeding. Still, they can help to reduce the severity and improve your overall well-being. What are these changes? Number one, maintain a healthy diet. Incorporate iron-rich foods such as leafy greens, legumes and fortified cereals to combat the anemia that arises from heavy menstrual bleeding. Also include foods that are high in vitamin C like citrus fruits, strawberries and broccoli to increase your absorption of iron. Number two, regular exercise. Regular physical activity can help to improve blood circulation and promote hormone balance. This can be useful because fibroids growth and development are sometimes thought to be as a result of estrogen imbalance. So consider low impact exercises like swimming, walking or yoga as they are gentle on the body and can help to relieve stress. And while we're talking about stress, number three, another lifestyle change is stress management. Chronic stress can worsen bleeding symptoms, so finding effective stress management techniques that work for you is particularly important. You can practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing exercises, meditation, or just engaging in hobbies or activities that make you happy. And what about the fifth strategy for managing heavy bleeding from fibroids? I think that alternative and complementary approaches can help some of us. So in addition to lifestyle modifications, medical or surgical treatments, alternative and complementary approaches may help some women manage fibroid related bleeding. Let's talk about some of them. One, herbal remedies and supplements. Certain herbs like chaseberry, green tea, castor oil packs, vitamin D supplements, dong kwai, yarrow and ginger can help balance your hormones and may contribute to reducing bleeding from fibroids. However, it's really important that you consult with somebody who knows what they're doing, that is a qualified and trained herbal practitioner before using herbal remedies as well as your own regular medical provider because some of these herbs could interact with other medications that you're taking. Secondly, acupuncture. Acupuncture is an ancient Chinese practice that involves the insertion of thin needles into different points along the body. This is thought to promote balance and healing. Some women have reported reduced bleeding and improved overall well-being after acupuncture sessions. So if you are looking for ways to stop bleeding from fibroids, you can consider one of these options, hormonal or non-hormonal medical treatments, interventional radiology, surgical treatments, lifestyle modifications, and even alternative or complementary therapies. Some lifestyle changes and alternative therapies can vary in the way they help women with bleeding. For example, they may provide only small or moderate benefits and you have to keep up with them. You have to continue them to maintain any kind of benefit. So remember, managing fibroids is a journey and finding the right approach may require a combination of strategies to meet your own special need. Don't forget as well that fibroid symptoms can affect women differently. And so some treatment options may not be effective for everyone. Please contact your healthcare provider to discuss the best options for you or you can contact me via our email health information service to get prompt and tailored responses that are specific to your own needs. I'll put the link for you in the description box below. I'm so sure that you found the knowledge of these strategies I've talked about here today helpful. Please comment below if you want to share your own experience with heavy bleeding from fibroids or any other options that are different to what I've talked about here already. Please give this video a like and remember to subscribe to our channel to get more health information videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.